Hey guys, what's going on? This is T-Carp. I want to ask you to forgive the quality of this video and we'll move forward. All right, this is my Zestava NPAP M90. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not. There's your NPAP and of course you, know, you got my serial numbers and all there. So, oops. Um, made it by Zestava in Serbia. Uh, again, you can see where it's made in Serbia um, and imported by... <clears throat> imported by Century Arms in Georgia. Okay, so you've got all the fun stuff. What I do want to show you guys for some of you that haven't been following my videos is that uh, this is a gun that is uh, one of the newer ones actually. They have a different butt stock as you can see. The cheek weld or cheek, cheek rise is a lot smaller than the original ones. Um, you'll notice the difference. You've got this metal butt pad on here. Used to they came uh, the the stock was a lot higher and people would complain of a lot of cheek slap uh, and it would have a rubber butt pad. So there's that also on here. Um, you have a uh, a Century Arms rack a R A K red arm uh, uh, rack one trigger. Um, the difference between it and the uh, the other ones, like the uh, the the Tapco G2 triggers, is I don't know if you can see that or not. Hold on, let me pause it. I'll yeah, be... here we go. What you can see now is that this trigger has the double hooks, so which actually makes it makes it work. In my opinion, makes it more functional, more reliable. Uh, it does have the uh, paper clip as a uh, the AK-47-74 guys, Rob, likes to say. So, um, I do really like this. And you can see that that's a, uh, that's a Century Arms uh, trigger. So, that trigger has worked out real well. Okay. Now, getting into some things. We want to make sure that the rifle has had about, about three to 400 rounds shot through it. Um, I don't have the money to go through a 1,000 rounds. But we're just going to check the bolt carrying group and all that. All right, so let's check a couple things so you can tell where it's been shot. Um, I can't see right here. You can tell a little deformation there. Very kind of hard to see where it may be rubbing up against the gas tube, but nothing major at all. Um, let's check and see if there is a... Uh, if there's any dovetail. Not really. I mean, really not at all. I'll let you guys take a look at that. I mean, really not at all. So let's see here. Let's see the bolt. Here's the bolt carrier. You don't see, you know, the locking lugs. Don't see any issues there. No. Sorry, dog hair. But... I really don't see any issues on this, guys. It, it does really, really well. And here it is. Um, guys, I mean, this, this bolt carrier is pretty, pretty nice. Hadn't had any issues with it, you know. Here's the, uh, here's the pin for that. Um, see about the rivets. Let's see. The one rivet, that rivet right there, maybe. I'm trying to be... But all the rivets look good. I mean, y'all, I'm just kind of... That rivet right there may be a little high. That one right there, right above the A. I'm just... But other than that, guys, this is a really well-built rifle. As you can tell, and you what you will notice, is on some of these impacts, they will come with a little bit of rust. And you might not like that. All, it's just surface rust. You can you can take it and uh, you can do what I did was just uh, take some CLP to it, and it should be all, all right. But other than that, plus with this lighting, everything's going to come up a little different. But other than that, everything looks good. I mean, you can look down here. Again, this is dirty. I'm about to clean it. So, um, and everything looks good at the trunnion wise. I mean. The barrel pin, it's flush. 
It's flush. I mean, everything looks really good. You know, look at the sights. Sights are just fine. Not canned or anything like that. So, I mean, guys, this is a really good rifle. Um, seems to be doing really, really well. Again, this is after about three to 400 rounds. Uh, having no issues with the Zestava impact. Thanks, guys.